18 TV. Well, I'm back trimming. Let's just go through what actually happened to the trimmer. The trimmer fell off the back, as you all know, which was kind of hair raising moment, and it would go as well in the wettest part of the field and the corner of the field, which always helps. Basically, the nose of the trimmer in here, there we are, there. Got the pin that goes through the nose, as you can see with the R clip on, there. So that the pin managed to move out and shear the linchpin off, which was kind of a bummer really, because then the trimmer fell off. So, as you can see, we put a new nose on. Packed them out with washers in there. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, where the hell are you, washers? They are. Packed them out with washers, so now that is solid. That can't move left or right. But the actual nose itself bent sideways, and I think I've got the old one down there, I'll show you. Um, bent sideways and elongated the hole, so the trimmer was just doing that all the time which wasn't a good thing because it shouldn't happen, basically. But it did. Um, new PTO shaft, as you can see there. That's all on. Um, new rear guard, which hasn't been done yet. All underneath's all bent, welds are cracked. Uh, side guard, there. Side guard on there. That's all bent and horrible. But the main, main thing that it did was actually bend the rear frame of the trimmer. So what we've had to do is, we've actually got it up in place so we can finish off trimming. We ain't got much to do. It's all field work. So get it done. After it's done, it's gonna go up to horses and they are gonna put a new rear frame on, or main frame, shall I say. New rear main frame on and sort out all the rest of the guards and all that stuff. And there is a possibility it could be bent somewhere else because it just doesn't feel right on the tractor to be quite honest um but they will sort that out have their opinion on it when it goes back up there so we can trim at least anyway to get us out of, out of the little bog we were in but it was a pain in the ass it was an absolute nightmare because when it happened it went like i said it went in the corner of the field wettest part of the field and then out of nowhere it decided to pee down the rain as you can imagine it was not all fun and giggles but we got it up, holes come out the following day, got us back up and running. Um, so that's always a good thing, but it's rained ever since. This is the first day, well, yeah, ever since that, that happened on the 20th of December, I haven't trimmed since that day, because all it's done is rain. Now it's still really wet in the field, as you can see now, but hopefully it's enough travel. If it can't, I'm gonna pull out and that's me done because I can't do anything else. We don't want to damage. We've caused enough damage in the field already this year to be quite honest the field that i'll show you in a minute the field that we um did the head trimmer out and try and get the telehandler in and out as well and one yeah i don't work either but there we go anyway let's go trimming so my delivery didn't exactly really go to plan it really did annoy me because what i hate is basically road works now i've got nothing against road works and essential works because stuff has to be done but shutting off like a rat run that like all the lorries use i.e tractors away from the town center is a bit of a ball ache especially when you don't really know where you're going even with sat nav on that wanted to send me those streets that you could hardly get a car down let alone a fast trap and bales let alone a lorry that's the thing, it's all very well putting diversions in place, but put diversions in place that actually follow the whole route, not like just go that way and, you know, best of luck, right? But with roadworks as well, you know, it always used to be done at night, doesn't it? I mean, health and safety and all that bollocks now, it is a load of crap. You know, safety is paramount, totally understand that. But, you know, the idea of like people working at night so it didn't disrupt the day, you know, if even if they made a hole in the road, it was covered up by, you know, covered up during the day, worked by night. But now they just leave the road, they'll do what they gotta do, leave a wide hole in the road, and then someone will get back to it when they feel like it. It's a load of bollocks, and well, on the delivery, it was an absolute nightmare. So I have to find my way around, pull into somewhere safe, look on sat now, try and look for a main road to go around, because through the town centre, you can't even get lorries through the town centre. But where did I end up? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 
through the town centre. So I've got this pumped and great fast track trailer on the back, weaving my way through town centre. Everyone giving you the daggers. Well, that's where the diversion signs told me to go. So I managed to pull in someone safe after that travesty, because it was, it was hard work trying to get through. Um, managed to find a, a main road I could get on. Good thing for Google Maps, must admit. You never invented that, very, very good. You were my friend. But it's a ball lake. It is an absolute ball lake. But there we go, I got home, safe and sound. The trouble is, it adds on an extra hour to your journey backwards, and, you know, forwards and backwards. So I was two hours behind, and that was it. You know, and I was seriously peed off, if I was being honest. There's nothing funny about it, it's just crap. Because at the end of the day, you're just trying to do your job, and you can. And especially when there's just a hole in the road, and there's no one there working. But hey, what do I know? So, a bit of therapeutic now. Relax me, do a bit of trimming. Not that it is relaxing really, because it's still bloody wet. But, we've got to get it done. As long as I'm not tearing the field up massively, we'll just crack on. Pass is back to where the trimmer fell off. So the trimmer fell off there at that corner. Uh, that is the mess they made dragging the tractor out. Because, uh, well, Kelly Ann was putting things around when they had lift the uh, head trimmer. Well, that's the way out there to lift the head trimmer and get things around and make that mess. Uh, so now, we'll start cracking off. Finally. Sun shining. So I dare say springs in the air. That's nah, bollocks really. <laughs> Definitely not. That is, that is, that is, that is tempting fate. Well, it's a snow tomorrow. Guaranteed. But no, it is... Oh, I feel like nice this day. We've had a couple of days like this now. Everything's starting to dry out a bit. So we are basically pushing on. So we aren't sort of... Thinking. We're pushing on to the things that can actually get done, um, opposed to, you know, stuff that can get done for another year. You know what I mean? Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend? For it's our last refrain. Forever young, ever strong, ever brave. Memories like this never end. No, they don't feel so when I'm gone, oh when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. Keep holding on, keep holding on, and I'll be right there, close to the sun, close to the sun. I'm getting ready to spread some dung and uh, this is how long we I um, put a bucket on for. So that bucket is safe to say was full. Really full of water. And that's basically how much rain we've been having. We get dung spread on.
as it gets so wet everywhere. I'm not taking out a me load, which would be absolutely as much as I get on it. I'm taking out, so I'd say it's full-ish, but it could be way, way more full. Basically, it's just something just don't, like, decrease the chance of indenting or messing up the ground, basically. So, climb through there. So, I'm taking up a nice-ish full load and not, like, a mega full load. <clears throat> and hopefully, I don't dig in anywhere. And also, this is stuff from our cow yard, so it's like a lot of slurry, very watery, so very heavy. Um, and it weighs way more than anything that's in the shed, because the shed's drained. You know I mean? Also, I haven't got the best of tyres on this fast track. But in the next couple of weeks, there is a big surprise, a big change. Well, it's actually not a big change, but a big surprise. So keep watching for that. Um, also, at this point in the video, if you haven't yet done so, please hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up, that's me. Now, I'm going to get the feel, and we'll get this spread. Probably, if I'm lucky, I'll get three loads. Definitely get two, but light is light is going away. Unfortunately, getting into this old yard isn't the easiest. Reversing dark because of the corners that I've got to go around. So that is a little bit annoying. I also started the video slightly later today, as I was on a delivery most of the morning, well, two delivery definitely. So it's taken me a little while to get back in. And then as it was such a lovely day, HRS and myself decided that we were both going off to play in fields. Charlie was in the factory with me until a little, a little uh, earlier. He's gone for delivery. And then I decide to do this. But we're in a bit of race against time to get as much dug out as we can before it goes wet again. Because it's definitely, definitely, definitely going to go wet again. There is no way Mother Nature is going to let us have dry weather for a little while, not a moment, I don't think so. She's dead on against us all. Could be worse, we could get snug. Now I'm really tempted to say, you know. I bet it, all of you up north are like going, Justin, shut the hell up, shut the hell up. We do not want to see snow. One word that gets into agriculture and you've got more work to do. All right, I'm going to basically clean this yard out, spread this load of dung. Over the weekend, I'm going to clean the shed out. And I'll probably go out to the compost yard and start clearing a load of that. I've got all the little sheds here to clean out again for the last time I did them. And get as much of this stuff, the old golden brown, out on the field as I can. Definitely gold brown at the moment with the price of fertilizer, isn't it? 
definitely. I would not want to be growing potatoes this year. Not about you, not about you boys using fertilizer. I would not want to see that bill. That would be horrendous. So HRS is really pushing on with headstrewing. I'm sure he'll give you all an update soon. He's in the fields up around me at the moment. I think it's one of the last blocks he's got. He's got one block over the other side of the farm, which at the moment we've leased out for to sheep graze. That's point, I've never seen them even yet. When starting YouTube, I had everything so well planned out, and recently I've just, it's all gone to rubbish. As I say, Fail to plan, plan to fail. So I'm going to have to start putting things back into the planning pot again. And I will get to doing a video on the planning. Right, so I'm going to have to do sun going down, I am going to wish you all farewell. So, until next time, let the dry weather continue. We'll see you guys next one. If you haven't yet done so, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring bell, leave a comment down below, that'd be amazing. And if you want to see any more of us, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. I know I'll get there again. So until next time, see you next one. Cheers. Just trimmed the field that the head trimmer fell off in and it didn't fall off. Result.